What's up everybody? I'm here in Jodhpur, just hanging out in my hostel right now, getting ready to head out for the day. So today I'm going to go check out the fort, and there's a temple nearby where I'm going to watch the sunset from, so I'm super excited for that. I'll just give you a quick tour of the hostel, or my room at least. Four bed dorm. I've got the privacy curtains on the bottom, unfortunately I'm on the top. Lockers, got a little balcony. Super nice that we're down like a little quiet street away from all the craziness. It's nice to be able to come back and chill. Downstairs there's a nice spot with some cushions and whatever to chill out. So that's fantastic. So I'm just gonna get packed up and ready. I have to book a train to Agra for tomorrow night and then I'm gonna catch a tuk-tuk down to the fort and we'll go check it out. So I'll see you guys there. Check this out. This is so beautiful. Thank you. 
I've managed to come all this way without uh, paying any money, which is really nice. And I'm getting all the views that I was looking for, especially of the really ornate part of the fort. So, so far I would call this a budgeting success. And I think there's going to be a pretty incredible view up here, so let's check it out. I want to walk a little bit away from the fort here for a second because I want to get some good views of the blue buildings down here. So Jodhpur is known as the blue city and there's a really really nice view of all the blue buildings from up here so I'm just going to go give it a look. Uh, a couple years ago I visited Chef Shawan which is known as the blue town in Morocco and I thought that was incredible and just all the different blues in the buildings and everything was just so beautiful so i want to get a good bird's eye view of this if i can find it and actually it's a really nice area just take a look so the actual fort is up this way and i'm doing all i possibly can to not pay the 600 rupee entry fee if i don't have to so, wish me luck with that. Okay. I see some stairs ahead, I wonder if I'm allowed to go up. My final day here in Jodhpur. Uh, I really haven't done too much since I've been here. I've sort of just been taking it easy, but it is really a beautiful city. It's a little bit crazy, but we are in India. So it doesn't say I can't go up here. So we're about to find out. Ah, uh, here we go. can just barely see through here. Let's see if I can find a better view somewhere. Acha, here we are. I really feel like I shouldn't be up here, but nobody said anything yet. Here we go, here's a good viewpoint.
Amazing. The blue is not coming up very well on camera. Maybe I'll add a couple of photos that I take in to the video right around here. Just look at where we are. When I picture India in my mind before coming here, these are the types of scenes that I really picture. Just these massive ancient fortress looking buildings and then just widespread cities behind here. I also pictured a lot of chaos and a lot of dirt, a lot of garbage, which is also true. But I think the beauty really takes over from any negatives that you might see. now and so things didn't really go to plan unfortunately uh, I had decided that I was gonna finally go check out the palace and I got a price from the tuk-tuk driver to take me to the palace and then drop me back off here at the hostel and unfortunately they charged me definitely more than I needed to pay and when I got to the palace it was closed and they wouldn't let me anywhere near it to take any video so I have a couple photos I'll edit them into this video here so you can at least see it. So I'm back at the hostel now. No sunset, no palace, unfortunately, but at least I got to see the temple and I got to see the fort without paying. So that evens it out a little bit. And so now I'm just gonna hang out for the rest of the night back at the hostel, probably get something to eat upstairs at our restaurant and just take it easy. Tomorrow I leave for Agra at 9 a.m. And I think I'm going to make a video just showcasing the train journey and what it's like to travel by train in India. Speaking of the train, there's one. So let me just give a quick tour of the chill out area here and then I'll let you guys go. So thanks for joining me today, even though the things didn't go quite to plan. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. But until then, check out the hostel. spent a lot of time here.